Hi everyone, I'm David Wojcik and this is MBOT TV. Stories we covered this week, the annual MBOT Golf Classic is a huge success. Peel-based news talk Saga 960 wins a prestigious media award. The City of Mississauga starts its 2020 budget consultations and the Canadian Chamber of Commerce responds to a national pharmacare program. Welcome to MBOT TV, a weekly recap of what happened in business at the Mississauga Board of Trade and around the city of Mississauga. Let's dive in. The annual Mississauga Board of Trade Golf Classic was a sold-out success. Members and guests gathered at the beautiful Caniff Lionhead Golf and Country Club for nine holes of golf and networking fun. An incredible day of golf, lots of prizes, and the big winner was the Rotary Club of Mississauga, with a $500 donation from Membot, seen here being received by Lucy Shaw from the Rotary Club Board of Directors. Peel Region's only mainstream media station is now an award winner. News Talk Saga 960 AM was presented with the prestigious Peel Region Police Media Award for Excellence in Local News Reporting. General Manager Jothi Panu was thrilled to receive the honor. The format of the show of our radio station is that we provide a little bit of sports, political shows, um, informing our listeners of what's happening in Peel Region. The morning show starts off with Raw Mike Richards and David Bastille. Then we have Mark Petroni. And then afterwards, we from 11 to 12, we have a variety of new shows coming in. And we have a show called Your Business with David Wojcik. And we have a new show that started with uh, Parents Canada. So we were um, contacted by Peel Region Police. And they had uh, told us that we've been uh, we won an award for a media award. So this means a lot to the station because this is what we've been wanting to do is reach out to the residents of Peel Region and inform them what's happening in Peel Region. And when we found out that we won the Peel Region Police Award, we were in ha we could not be more happy than what we are right now because we're actually getting closer to our target is to provide local news content to our listeners in Peel Region. The future is continue to do what we're doing and getting this award just makes us feel more, um, you know, that we're a, literally a pat on the back saying we're, we're on the right path. If you want to stay up to date on current issues affecting business leaders, tune in to Your Business on Saga 960 AM, Fridays at 11 AM. A one-hour business show where I interview industry experts on everything from motivating employees to boosting your bottom line. This Friday at 11 a.m., we, we uh, explore entrepreneurship with a census report on the state of entrepreneurs in Canada. You can also listen online at www.saga960am.ca. Still to come is our political update with Brad Butt, who has news on the Canadian Chamber of Commerce reaction to the Liberal government's plan for a national pharmacare program and our upcoming events with Stephanie Giorgio. But first, are you looking for ways to save money on your employee benefits? The Chamber plan can help. The Chamber's plan now offers employee benefit programs with greater selection, higher coverage levels, and more value than ever before. Take another look and see why we're the choice of more small businesses than any other plan in Canada. The Chamber's plan. It's for your benefit. This is your last chance to advertise in the 2019 edition of MBOT's annual magazine and directory. This directory is an excellent way for you to gain recognition for your business. For more information, call 905-273-6151, press 0, and speak to your membership services manager today. Now for our political update, here's our Vice President of Government and Stakeholder Relations, Brad Butt. Brad? Well, thanks, David. On June 19th, City Council passed a motion declaring a climate emergency in Mississauga. The motion outlined the city's commitment to taking action on climate change and directed staff to bring, uh, develop and bring forward a climate change action plan to council for approval by the end of 2019. Mississauga Mayor Bonnie Crombie stated, Mississauga is working to become climate change leaders and we're proud to be reaffirming our commitment by joining cities across the country in declaring a climate emergency. Mississauga City Councilors got a sneak peek at what the 2020 budget might look like last week, which includes some service improvements in areas like transit and roads. 
including increases from the region of Peel, residents would see an overall property tax increase of 3.04%, while businesses would see a 1.85% increase on their bills. While the proposed spending on the city's priorities will likely make it into the final budget, overall the next several months staff will continue to refine the budget and look for ways to trim proposed increases. MBOT always participates in the review of both the City of Mississauga and Region of Peel budgets each fall. The City of Mississauga has endorsed a Smart City Master Plan. The plan focuses on how technology will continue to enhance the quality of life in Mississauga and help prepare for the future. A smart city uses digital technologies to help support people who live, work, and play in their city. This can include online services to pay bills and sign up for swim classes, free public Wi-Fi hotspots, events such as hackathons, and infrastructure projects such as traffic management systems and 5G network support. This master plan will guide Mississauga for the next 10 years as it continues to evolve as a smart city. The directions included in the plan will be used to shape policy and move ahead with the digital transformation at the city and in the community. Following the Ontario government cabinet shuffle, Premier Doug Ford has named parliamentary assistants. Congratulations to Mississauga MPP Nina Tangri, who is now the parliamentary assistant to the Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade, and Rudy Cazzetto, the parliamentary assistant to the President of the Treasury Board. The Ontario government has announced it is re resuming the environmental assessment for the Greater Toronto Area West Corridor to improve Ontario's highway network, reduce travel times, and help alleviate traffic congestion across the GTA. The corridor proposes a new 400 series highway to complement highways 401 and 407. Provincial infrastructure, such as the GTA West, is a critical building block in our recently adopted long-range transportation plan, a five-year plan that guides transportation planning and infrastructure needs, supporting a community for life in Peel, said Peel Regional Chair Nando Yanika. The Ontario government has announced that key driver, vehicle and commercial fees will not increase until July 1, 2020. This is the third round of driver and vehicle fee increases that have been cancelled by the government. A modest 2% increase to remaining fees will take effect on July 12, 2019. Fees that will not increase this year include driver's license renewals, driver's license applications and vehicle plate permit and validation fees. Following the release of the report of the Advisory Council on the Implementation of National Pharmacare, the Canadian Chamber of Commerce reacted to the plan by saying, we are concerned about the Advisory Council's recommendation that the federal government establish a single-payer system of prescription drug coverage in Canada. Canadians want governments to provide coverage to those who need it, the uninsured and the underinsured, not those who already have coverage. Canadian employers urge the government to carefully reflect on the millions of Canadians who would lose access to medications they have under their current plans and consider the impact of a single-payer system on federal finances. The Canadian Chamber of Commerce has authored three new reports on artificial intelligence, citing that businesses have a lot on their plate staying ahead of or keeping pace with the rapid and complex developments in their industry. The reports focus on regulation, workforce and inclusion. Each report is the culmination of what the Canadian Chamber has heard from industry roundtables that focus on finding solutions to the industry's challenges and approaches exploiting Canada's opportunities. You can access the reports at www.chamber.ca. And as we gear up for the federal election on October 21st, 2019, the Canadian Chamber Network, including the Mississauga Board of Trade, have released Vote Prosperity to get all political parties and ad to address issues important to Canadian businesses. You can be part of the campaign by going to www.platformforprosperity.com. Back to you, David. Thanks, Brad. 
with a listing of our upcoming events. Here's our events manager, Stephanie Giorgio. Stephanie. Thanks, David. And here's what's coming up at your Mississauga Board of Trade. On July 3rd, Membership Matters is at MBOT, a session for new members to discover all the great benefits that your Mississauga Board of Trade has to offer. Season members are always welcome to stop by for a refresher. On July 10th, join us at the Mississauga Grand Banquet and Convention Center for Good Morning Mississauga. Meet up to 100 potential business clients, partners, and suppliers before the start of your workday. Don't forget to book a speaker spot. Where else can you make over 100 cold calls in just two minutes? On July 17th, join us at the Courthouse Social Bar and Kitchen in for credit for our engine speed networking for young professionals. Join other young professionals for an evening of networking, drinks, and some light snacks. Guests will greet each other in a series of brief exchanges during a set period of time. Back to you, David. Thanks, Stephanie. If you have any questions about how to make a nomination for our Awards of Excellence, register for an event, increase awareness for your business, or have your company featured on MBOT TV, contact your membership services manager by calling 905-273-6151, press zero and get connected. Details about these stories and events are available at www.mbot.com. This is our final show before we take our summer break. I want to thank all of our guests for the past year for contributing to the show and of course my co-host Brad Butt and Stephanie Giorgio. Most of all, a big thank you to MHI Canada for their support in sponsoring the show and of course thanks to you, our viewers, for tuning in. Until we return in September, have a wonderful and safe summer and we wish you continued success in your business.